Hey everyone, this is Austin from the Nerf Wi-Fi Corporation, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Nerf Rival Curve Shot Sideswipe. Let's get started. So with the side swipe, of course, you get the blaster itself, the 12 rounds, which I already have loaded in here. And then the priming bar is also separate, um, so you do have to put this in yourself. But I'm going to talk about why this is so cool later. But let's talk about how this thing works. I did already do a little bit of testing, and I gotta say that I'm kind of impressed with this, actually. It's a lot of fun. Now, this muzzle you can actually twist, and the hop-up unit is actually inside this muzzle. So when you twist it... The hop-up unit is now facing like this way, and so when it applies the pressure to the round, it's going to push it and give it some backspin going this way. So that's how that works. Now what this is useful for is when you have enemies behind cover. So let's say there's like this wall over here, and you know there's enemies behind it, but you don't know how you're going to get to them because they're behind this wall. And if you try to run up to the wall, or like try to run behind the wall, they're probably going to get you. Well, what you could do is switch it to the left side, and then... Just probably line, line it up to the edge of the wall. That probably should work, and it should just curve around the wall and maybe hit your opponent. There are four modes to this muzzle. The first one just being the normal straight shots. But then if I turn the muzzle to the left, it's now going to curve to the left. If I turn this to the right, now it's going to curve to the right. And then there's also one more, actually. If I twist this all the way down like that, it's actually going to shoot the rounds down. So, like, maybe there's, like, some wall, but maybe you want to get them, like, from above. Then it's going to curve down, like, over the wall. It's really cool. So, like I said, I'm already pretty impressed with this thing because this is super versatile, and I really like that. Next, let's talk about the internal magazine. This holds 12 rounds, and to load it, you take this tab here and just slide it down. And make sure that it clicks in down here, otherwise it's going to snap back up. Um, and then you're left with this hole right here, so you can take a round and just load it in like that. And I'd say that this is actually a pretty good design because the rounds don't seem to like fall out. So that's pretty good actually. Now let's talk about the ergonomics of this blaster. So the grip is actually pretty good I'd say. Um, and that's kind of what we've come to expect from Rival because pretty much all the blasters have pretty comfortable grips. The stock is just okay. Um, not the greatest but I can deal with it. Now, also, I actually like that this bottom part, like, digs into your side. And I know that sounds so weird. Like, that has to be so uncomfortable, right? But it's actually not really that uncomfortable. It's, I don't know, it's, it's not bad. And I like it because it actually kind of helps with the stabilization. So, again, I know it sounds so weird, but it's true. I like it in a sort of odd way. And then there's a couple more things that I just want to mention. There's the safety switch right here, so I press that down, and now I cannot pull the trigger. Um, and then I also wanted to talk about this, right, the priming bar, because this is actually ambidextrous. It is a threaded priming bar, so I can twist that and take it out. And then, maybe you're a left-handed person, you can put this on the right side, right? So now you can actually hold the blaster with your left hand and prime it with your right. Super cool. I know that's not, like, that big of a deal, but this needs to be, like, more common. Because a lot of times Hasbro doesn't do this, and I don't get why, because it's really cool. And then finally, we do have the override button right here. So let's say you have, like, a really bad jam, and you, like, cannot uh, prime this back at all. You should be able to use this little button right here. And that should override it and allow you to prime it back um, to hopefully help with your jam. So that is kind of nice. I have never had to use one of these, like, ever, but it's still good to have. And so honestly, like, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Like, I've only tested it a little bit, but it's fun. It's versatile, and, you know, the ergonomics are, like, decent. This is actually kind of cool. So let's test this thing out on the range.
Now switching over to left mode. Watch for that curve. Switching over to right mode. And now the down mode. Overall, this blaster is fun and versatile. This is actually like a pretty solid release from Hasbro, and I would recommend getting it. It's only like 20 bucks, which I'd say is definitely worth it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.